phi e is 2.718 phi is 3.14 so we have discussed the few of the mathematical constants earlier and we would also be discussing uh, something about uh, the various standard functions which we will be using in various applications in uh, finance and actuaries the most common functions being e to the power of x the log x the 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 x to the power of a to the power of x x to the power of n and we will also talk about uh, the integral value of x the modulus of x the minimum and maximum values these are some of the various uh, aspects their typical shapes and uh, for what kind of values they are typically uh, applicable for those are some of the most common things we would be uh, discussing as a part of uh, this particular uh, chapter. So with that basic introduction, let's uh, jump start into our uh, understanding. To start with, we will uh, look at the exponential function, which uh, is typically written as e to the power of x like this. Or in some cases, uh, it is also written as exp and in the bracket x both of them mean one and the same it's only the representation that differs and though the calculus way of expressing e power x is more like this but i suggest if you can remember this expansion of e to the power of x which is 1 plus x <coughs> plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial and so on you should be able to answer a decently good number of questions out of this. Now, all thing, only thing you need to understand is what is this factorial? Simple way to define the factorial is multiply that number, decrease it by 1 until 1 and put up the value. So, 2 factorial means 2 into 1 which will give me 2. 3 factorial will make it 3 into 2 into 1 which will make it to 6 and that's the way you define factorial and factorials are generally defined only for natural numbers. So decrease those natural numbers 1 by 1 until 1 multiply all those numbers and that is what will bring you the value of that factorial. Now. If you observe this particular uh, graph of e to the power of x, this is the way you see a typical e to the power of x graph. Some of the things you should uh, understand from this graph because these are the common questions that can get generated for us. As the value of x is increasing, which means e to the power of 1 versus e squared, if someone asks for these two, as the value of x is increasing, I will see that the e to the power of x keeps growing and growing. So it's an increasing function. That is one more word which we use. When we use the word called increasing function, as x is increasing, we see that the e to the power of x value keeps increasing. First aspect. Second, this value can never become negative. As you are seeing that as x is decreasing and decreasing, the value of e to the power of x is just coming closer to zero, but it's not becoming below zero, which means it can never be negative. e to the power of x can never be negative, but it can only be approaching zero. So the other way of uh, writing this is, as x tends to minus infinite, e to the power of x tends to 0. This is uh, one way you can express the relationship between x and e to the power of uh, x. And the way does it cut? Whenever we talk about graphs, another important thing that we need to understand is at what points does this particular graph cut the x-axis as well as y-axis. We have already understood that this graph cannot cut the x-axis. It 
because it approaches zero but it cannot become negative only when when a particular graph become value becomes negative and positive only when both the signs are available for that particular value 